Hi everyone, welcome back to the Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today, where it is, God said a lot of members will be leaving from a church. The pastor is after money and sex will fall. God said a lot of churches will be falling. And I'm going to be honest with you. You know, a lot of things going on in churches. That's why a lot of members are leaving because the pastor is not doing their part as they supposed to. And a lot of people are leaving churches because the pastor is not holding it up. You know, a lot of pastors are getting mad and frustrated, but they don't want to help the members. You know, you got to teach the members to wait, you know, to have sex. Teach the members to get out that game. Teach them to live the life. Like God said in the Bible, you know, people ask God for jobs. People ask God for a position that they know they not available, capable, and focus on. You know, when you ask God for something, make sure you are available for that position. You know, just like a lady, she asking God to help her to cook. God show you how to cook, but you don't want to cook for homeless people. You want to just cook for yourself. You know, we don't want to be selfish doing God's work. We want to be preaching and teaching and telling people the truth about the kingdom of God. Because at the end of the day, before our eyes close, we better make sure we save. But the Lord said a lot of members will be leaving from a church. Churches, let me tell you this. We got to get ourselves together. We got to get ourselves together together christians get yourself together because i'm gonna tell you it won't be no church it won't be no church if we don't get ourselves together because people members are getting tired they paying their tithes and offering they don't see no improvement in the church they don't see anything you can pay rent all day long but you still want to activate people blessings people need to know what their gift is people need to activate what the lord had put in them if they want to be an usher a singer a dancer let the children let their thoughts you know act in the church let them do what they do you know you gotta have people participating in the choir have people participating on the usher board have people doing things not just sitting i remember when i was growing up you know i was sitting in church and stuff and I got tired of that. I wanted to do stuff in the church. You know, you, sometimes you get tired of just sitting. You want to do stuff, even if it's being an usher, you know, being on the choir, you know, you know, just doing something for the kingdom of God. You know, as I got older and stuff, and when I was young, I was singing on the choir. I was acting. I was um, dancing for the Lord. I was doing a lot. You know, the church that I was in, they had us doing stuff. But I'm telling you, today... In this day and time, churches are getting boring. People don't want to come to church because the pastor is just beating them up with with sin. And I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, pastor is going to talk about sin, but the way they're doing it is you got to be, you got to help your members. Don't run them away. Yeah, some of them having sex, some of them doing wrong, but at the end of the day, you as a pastor, you don't want to put your members down. You want to lift them up and tell them in a respectful way that you cannot have sex until you get married. You got to explain them why you need to wait. A lot of people don't know why you need to wait. People don't know why they need to come to church. People don't know why they need to pay their tithes and offering. And as a pastor, it is your job to teach your members the truth about the kingdom of God. And a lot of people today, like I said before, a lot of churches are going to be not, you know, a lot of people ain't going to want to go there no more because they see how some of these churches are. Some of these churches just after money. And some of these churches are selfish. They only about their own self. They only care about their own ways and everything. So I just want to say, you know, be careful to whoever church you go to. Make sure, you know, you're doing your part as a member. And second, Timothy 3 and 5, it reads, Having the appearance of God, Godliness, but denying its power, avoid such people. You got to avoid certain people in your life. And I'm going to be honest with you, like I said before, a lot of pastors are doing some crooked stuff in the church, and they will not admit it until you find out that the church offering was missing. 
that things were missing in the church. God said a lot of members will be leaving from a church. The pastor is after money and sex. It will fall. And I'm going to tell you, when I say it will fall, the whole church is falling, which means everybody going to be out the church because God is not playing with these pastors. He's not playing with these ministers. If you is doing God's will, you better make sure you continue to walk with him because if you don't, God will cut you off. And a lot of people think that God is playing. He's not playing. The first people God going to come to is the church. Because the church talking about, I love you, Jesus. I worship you and adore you. You talking about you love God, but your ways is not pleasing him. You got to make sure as a member, as a pastor, as a person sitting in the church, make sure you're doing your part. Don't try to follow the world. Follow God. Whatever you do, follow God and follow his ways. I love you all. Be encouraged. Make sure you save yourself. Take care of yourself. Make sure you are saved. Make sure you are delivered. And make sure you do not deny who God is. I love you all. Keep the faith. Keep holding on. Continue to put God first. Don't worry about what other people say. Because at the end of the day, people going to try to beat you up. People going to try to tell you God ain't real and all this stuff. You got to make sure you save yourself. Take care of you. Don't worry about other people. Focus on you and your relationship with God. So I just want to say be encouraged. Don't give up. Keep the faith. Keep holding on. And allow God to get the glory out of you. I love you all. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.